Drug dealer Diego Paolo is murdered in Colombia while taking a bath by an enigmatic sniper. American soldier and sniper Brandon Beckett is assigned as a sniper expert to look into a murder case in Colombia involving prominent drug dealer Jesus Morales. Ten years on the run, Morales is suspected of hiring a professional sharpshooter and killing competitors. After reviewing the case data, Brandon receives information from Kate Estrada, the head of the Drug Enforcement Administration, directing an ambush to apprehend Morales. Brandon is asked to join Santiago, who will act as his aide on the operation, as a sniper and defend her men from a distance. The following day, an operation was started to kill drug dealer Morales and his group. Sniper squad members Brandon and Santiago were in the forest keeping an eye on the Estrada team's activities. As they got closer to Morales' home, a bomb went off, killing multiple soldiers. Pablo was one of Estrada's greatest partners until an enigmatic shooter assassinated him. When Brandon and the others discovered that Morales had laid the trap, he assumed the shooter was an experienced one. To discuss the reasons for the unsuccessful ambush expedition, Samson, the sergeant, and Estrada met. They thought Morales had set up a trap for the ambush spot and was aware of their plan. Santiago and Brandon protected the DEA dorm from an enigmatic sniper strike during the night. While Estrada was still in mourning for Pablo's passing, she encountered Carlos, a covert operative who told her that Morales had employed the expert marksman El Diablo. Carlos recommended staying out of the task so as to keep El Diablo from pursuing you. After getting his gun ready, Brandon fired at El Diablo, who ducked out of his path. Richard, Brandon's supervisor, clarified that El Diablo employed a very sophisticated smart bullet that belonged to the U.S. Department of Defense. Leader of the thugs, Morales, is playing pool in his Bogota city headquarters. After losing a bet, he pulls a revolver on Manolo, frightening the thugs. After revealing Brandon and Estrada's deaths, Morales departs. El Diablo is threatening him for not paying him so he tries to get in touch with him. As Estrada, Brandon, and Santiago examine El Diablo, a truck strikes their vehicle and the men of Morales encircle them. After being shot by Morales' men, Santiago passes away. Because Brandon and Estrada think Morales has ties to the government, they hide in a home with El Diablo's girlfriend. They murder significant individuals who worked with Morales to entice him or El Diablo to leave. Knowing that his business partner was slain, Morales pays the sharpshooter to kill them. El Diablo tells Manolo that Carlos has teamed up with Brandon and Estrada to carry out their plans and begs for their assistance. After hanging Carlos in front of a church, El Diablo hides there until Brandon and Estrada emerge. Before Carlos runs out of breath, Brandon fires the rope hanging him, but El Diablo murders him. While during Carlos's burial, Brandon and Estrada notice Victor acting strangely. Victor consents to collaborate with Brandon and notify Morales HQ about Carlos's death. After DEA agents assault Morales headquarters, he is detained and brought to Miami to stand prosecution. El Diablo enters Miami under false pretenses and gets through security inspections. Richard introduces Brandon to the newest advancements in smart bullet technology. El Diablo, a former Department of Defense employee and soldier, has been shot 100 times. As Estrada and Brandon watch Morales' group of vehicles drive away, Brandon shoots El Diablo's white van. The plot was devised to expose Samson's crimes, and the vehicle is empty. Estrada strikes Samson because she lost her finest employee. Richard is pleased with Brandon and Estrada's efforts in cracking the case, and Brandon and Estrada head out together. Estrada thanks them for their efforts in cracking the case as the film comes to a close.